nation tonight. President Trump announced a major change to military policy on Twitter today. Capitol Hill and LGBTQ rights groups are responding to the announcement that transgender individuals will no longer be allowed to serve in our military in any capacity. The White House insists this was a military decision, not an easy one to make, calling Obama's previously policy on transgender military expensive and disruptive. Others calling it a disgrace. It's shameful to divide Americans in the face who, of who their service and sacrifice for his political gain. Well, now members of the local transgender community calling this a slap in the face to active duty and veteran transgender service members. Our Grace Ditzler spoke to several transgender uh, veterans today. What did they have to say, Grace? Well, Nadine, uh, the three veterans I spoke to served during the don't ask, don't tell policy and say they hid who they were while they were in the service. They say they now worry for transgender service members who may have to hide their true identities. Maeve Griffith's Air Force flag waves proudly outside her South Hill home. When I was in, of course, you couldn't be gay and in the military. Now she's a captain with the Spokane Fire Department. She began transitioning about 10 months ago, and she's thankful she works somewhere she can now be herself. We are so much stronger if we are allowed to tell the truth and, and be truthful people. She says people who are transgender in any workplace just want to do their job. I, I flew and I wanted to fly, that's all. Being transgender was like pretty far down on the list of things that I was. Um, it shouldn't really even be an issue. Across town, veteran Jade Anista's reaction to the president's tweets, anger. I went ballistic. I even blew up on Facebook and I was so angry I started crying. She says she also hid her true self in the military. And I did get caught quite a bit with, you know, female attire in my dormitory and this and that. And I was confronted several times from COs and all that stuff, but I always I lied about it. I always blamed it on a girlfriend. Or, oh, those aren't mine, you know. She worries Trump's decision could cause more discrimination. All it's doing is opening up more hate and more open hate towards the transgender community, which is already the most vulnerable population in the world. When Tori Boston was serving, she says she faced that type of discrimination. I was experimenting, I was dressing up, and uh, I had an iPhone with some pictures and some private messages. And even though there was no asking, there was no telling, I got outed and I got publicly humiliated and shamed. When asked what she hopes comes next. I hope the outrage actually has an effect on the presidency and in policy. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? And I also spoke to Jenny Siebert, a transgender woman who, while not a veteran, worked as a treasury officer in Idaho before she transitioned. She says transgender people are people's neighbors and families and says the president's decision is unjust. Reporting in studio, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News. Thank you, Grace.